watching what's happening now to people across this nation in an unprecedented way of police violence against people. And across the world, there are people rising up against um, oppression. And so I thought artist response, not just to the police violence, because there's been a lot of shows about police violence, but that the whole movement of protest power and resistance, and, and the thought again in my life of what would like be like to be uh, part of a revolution that changes the dynamics for poor people and oppressed people all over the world. And artists have always been at the forefront of expressing those um, sentiments. The history of protest and resistance and fundamental human rights. And, uh, that's a piece I, I made like years back and I made it purposely because of that fact that rights belong to everybody regardless of color, of age, sex and wherever you come from and your status. Every human being should have is all rights. This image is from a collaboration of images uh, I found in the media and the collage pieces come from also newspaper articles uh, all that were about the protests and the riots uh, in Baltimore. This piece was done about the time of the Million Man March. Um, I was more fascinated with the energy that was going on with the preparation for the Million Man March. I do remember the March on Washington. And what happened was um, the Million Man March was, was coming together and there was a whole lot of talk about um, whether it was going to be a success or not, or whether it was going to have um, any, any uh, relevance within the black community. The female body is always exploited, you know, showing the female body inappropriately. And one thing I wanted to do was change the view, change the camera angle, and make that interesting and uh, put women on a pedestal to show how powerful they are. They would tell her that she really improved her race by marrying me. That shocked me as I certainly didn't think that way and neither did Joseph. For me not being from here originally just amazes me anytime I knew how racism still exists in different parts of the world. I guess it was a little bit of anger that made me do the greetings from Florida, the stand your ground state postcard. Um, I've since done a few more for Indiana, one to pass another unnecessary law to allow people to be prejudiced against homosexuals. I just wanted to make people stop and listen and stop and think like how we consume and what is actually important for us. That's why I put together Swarovski goes next to plastic bags. It's like what is really expensive in our world and why one is cost nothing and we do not value it at all while it also can be beautiful. I believe that uh, resistance is necessary to stop motion and motion of injustice is moving forward too fast. So I created uh, these two pieces. Um, this particular one is called The Writing on the Wall. Well, when my daughter in middle school was asked by the teacher, she wasn't asked, um, she was told that Columbus was a hero. And I've always taught her that, no, Columbus wasn't a hero. And she told that to the teacher. And the teacher got a little perturbed and she came home and told me. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna paint something that, that I could hand down to her and maybe she could hand down to her children because um, the history that we're being taught is his story, not our story. I believe in, retain, in retaining uh, the cultural integrity of images that I feel need to withstand the test of time so that people can always be uh, have a subject matter to, to talk about. It's about power, it's about protest, and it, it's about uh, resistance, you know. You, you have all three.